what's going on guys uh, it's a new video this one's gonna be probably on the shorter side uh, I'm just gonna reveal my truck to you guys real quick because I actually went out and bought a new tow vehicle last week uh, I've actually been dailying it so I've put some miles on it um, and then so after the truck reveal we're gonna cut into tomorrow's footage where I'm getting the trailer and we're gonna get the, this, the, the drift car ready for Lock City so uh, behind me behind the camera is uh, my new to me 2006 Chevy 2500 it is totally bone stock it's actually super nice that way uh, the guy who had it before me he was a bit older so he kept super good care of it uh, he gave me a whole bunch of maintenance logs on and everything but so look at look just look at, look at look at the rockers they're mint now it got a little bit of dirt and stuff on it here but like the whole underside was kept up good it's got a little bit of a little bit of surface rust here and there but let's be honest it's a 2006 it's gonna have it but uh, so I picked up a 2500 HD, so it's got a six liter gasser in it. Uh, came with a toolbox on the back, so that's pretty cool. Inside, I just left the work, so I got all this uh, mess we're just gonna disregard. But um, it's just super clean, it's in super good condition. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy to have found this. I got a super good deal, uh, not a super good deal, but it was a pretty, pretty good deal. Um, I actually just did the brakes on it last night because I needed rear brakes before I went towing this weekend. Um, when I bought it, it didn't have a check engine light, but then like everything else I own, uh, it throws a check engine light eventually. Um, yes, I plugged the code reader in beforehand. Um, it was after I put enough miles on it for the monitors to reset. So it's just an evap leak anyway, so it's like, so it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, thing's super clean. I'm really happy with it. Oh, it's got an eight foot bed off the back. Um, so like I said, it's the six liter diesel. Uh, six the six liter gas or I sold the six liter diesel um, so kind of my reasoning I wanted to get a Duramax or another diesel truck um, but just kind of like looking into what makes the most sense for me and my budget uh, since I'm still in college still working I mean I work part-time at college full-time when I'm at home uh, I don't have the most money you know accessible um, and so I still have both BMWs and if I kind of want to keep throwing money at both BMWs I feel like I should make a, a somewhat smart choice and if I'm gonna own a third vehicle get a gas truck uh, just have it be reliable have it be cheap and easier to work on um, plus I had one of these a while ago um, and I liked it it was good to me so I, I found this one it was clean it's good price it's got a little bit of body damage here and there but like right here it's got the little crack there scratch there um, but overall I mean it's she's, she's a good boat and it's definitely a boat this thing's heavy but uh, as far as plans go on this thing Probably not gonna do much. I mean, uh, cause like I said, I want to keep it reliable and stock. Um, it obviously is terrible on gas, so limits the size of tires I want to put on it, especially cause it's a daily driver. Um, I think I'd like to do some bigger wheels and some 33s, um, maybe an exhaust on it. And I need to change the radio cause it's still got the stock radio from 2006. So I can't even plug my damn phone in this thing. Uh, <laughs> so that's actually kind of funny. But yeah, like some little bit bigger wheels. Um, tires nothing crazy maybe maybe some 20 by 12s once i save up some more cash and just put on 33s because uh, i don't want to lift it i want to keep it stock ride height and uh yeah i mean this thing is totally the definition of bone stock so that's cool so overall oops. so this has been my uh my pickup uh, quite literally, pick up purchase and pick up truck. But uh, yeah, so I mean, you guys are definitely gonna see us on the channel. Hopefully, not too much, because if you see it too much, that means things are broken, and we don't want that. So wheels, tires, eventually, that's that'll be further down the road because these tires are the guy just put them on. So like, I'm in no rush to get rid of those. But uh, eventually, then we'll do wheels, tires, do an exhaust. This might be a cool opportunity for me to buy a welder from Harbor Freight and cut things and learn to do that. But uh, so maybe, I don't know, maybe that, that could be kind of cool, kind of a learning experience. But other than that, this thing is uh, just gonna be a tow rig. So I guess now we're going to, I'm gonna have a quick montage here. And after that, we're just going to cut into tomorrow where I'm picking up the U-Haul trailer and we're gonna start to pack everything up for this two day weekend here uh, going to Lock City. So I'm excited. So we'll see you guys in a sec.
right guys, it is the next day. I uh, actually got out of work a little bit early today. So I haven't even gotten the trailer yet. So the truck's actually still just sitting, no trailer behind it. But so being home early means that I have time to uh, start to pack up and I have to get the front bumper off this car. I'm hoping by taking the front bumper off, it'll give me the clearance I need to uh, get this thing on the trailer. So we're gonna find out. Maybe I'm not actually gonna have to, but I'm gonna try it either way. So time to take this thing off and uh, then I'm gonna grab all my shit and start to uh, start to pack up. So let's uh, start with getting this bumper off. So uh, I got all the mechanics packed up for the most part. Just uh, got a few tools out that I'm still charging. Uh, I still gotta pack a bag to, for like clothes and food and shit. Uh, but otherwise, we're all set. I'm headed off to U-Haul now. I'm gonna grab this trailer. Uh, I should probably get my own trailer eventually. But uh, oh, don't cut me off, please. Thank you. Uh, so I'm gonna grab this trailer. We're gonna go back and then we're gonna see the absolute Hopefully, it's gonna be relatively easy to get this car on the trailer. Slick the front bumper off, so hopefully we'll get some clearance, but uh, not feeling the most confident about it, just because of how low the damn thing is. So, we'll uh, we'll see how she goes, and so we'll grab this trailer, and I'll uh, update you guys after that. Okay, everybody, that was an absolute disaster, getting this car onto the trailer. Um, I had to put the 17s on because there was just no possible way it was gonna fit beforehand. Uh, so we got that on. Those are all all set. It took it took putting on the 17s with the 55 sidewall, removing the bumper, and driving on wood like the entire way up and the ramp. Uh, but the car is on, so it's gonna be exciting getting it off. Um, I have this like, packed with the extra 16s. Got the bumper in there. A few more wheels and all the wood in here. Some. Uh, stuff up here just got some oils and stuff in here and then the cab so where we got the uh all the fancy shit got a little compressor in here a couple toolboxes i gotta go grab my sockets now i gotta still grab the helmet and the batteries and everything but uh otherwise that's gonna be it here guys i hope you guys uh enjoy this quick little video little truck reveal and uh we'll see you guys after the lock city event